What's up, guys? How y'all doing today? Well, baby, if you were JT, you have just exposed young Miami. Everybody talking about, I'm not a blank worker. I'm his friend. We got a special relationship. Baby, JT said both Santana and Carisha are blank workers. And baby, I don't know if she a blank worker or she's Diddy's actual girl or she's his side piece or his, his emotional support baddie. But J also JT, well, it's been rumored as JT leaked Carisha's uh, fin stuff. You guys don't know what a fin is. It is your fake Instagram. It's like always, anyway, it's your real Instagram that the people that really know you, you post for them. Forget all that, right? Because one thing that came out, now people were saying, is this her real Instagram or not? Not her work Instagram, but the Instagram that all her friends that she really shows her life. Baby, they are saying this is her actual Finsta. And on top of that, right? On top of it being her fake Insta, right? Finsta. There is a story that just posted two hours ago that she posted saying her and Diddy were the new Bobby and Whitney. Y'all, we got to get into this. First of all, I want to thank so much, of course, Valerie, Renee, Sherry Dawn. And also I want to uh, uh, thank MGK on Twitter for sending this mess over, baby. You can't make this up. But before we get into this, I have a question, right? I have a question and it's a big question. You know, no, let's get into this. Let's get into how JT blasted young Miami because, baby, you can't make this mess up, okay? You cannot make this mess up, okay? So, first of all, I'll put her Finsta on the screen, right? And some people said it was Barb's posting. Other people are like, it's not. She literally just posted on there talking about the new Bobby and Whitney. And she posted two hours ago. Plus it was a private account. Fake fan accounts are usually public. It was a fake private account. And as soon as JT leaked it, the account got pulled down. I think that's her account. But let's get into this with JT actually blasting her because girl, J oh, listen, they are still going at it. They are still going at it. All right, let me just get to the point. So this is the point that sent me that pretty much proved everybody's point about uh, what you call it, being a blank worker. Again, Miami said she was joking when she said, "I'm a whore. I'm a big whore." And then she turned around and said, "That's just a gay slur." And I was like, "Can someone tell Carisha the word is slang, not slur?" But that's neither here nor there. So material girl, that's all she saw Santana tweeted her back in October, 2009 to, I'm sorry, October 29, 2020. Uh, he added her, he said one B that got, uh, that got a nice, uh, a shape. But when I tell her to get dressed, we going to do out of, out of, out of the B walk out the room with basketball shorts on young Miami come out in coochie cutters. That's my girl. JT said, because y'all blank workers. Now, here's the thing, and I do have to say this. It has not been proven whether Young Miami, Jade, and all those workers are blank workers because they were coming out saying, um, how dare you? We just spend time. Love is love. Don't judge us. We just have an unconventional lifestyle. So what did I say, baby? I hope they had good accountants. And I hope they, because baby, right? If they don't, Jade, Daphne, Miami, who seems to still be with Diddy, really need to keep their mouth shut because it is the worst kept secret in the industry, Hollywood or music, okay, that there are individuals who provide company to very wealthy and famous people and they get their compensation via wire transfers from Germany and from Italy. And these girls better pray. They better pray that everything they received is 100% valid and accounted for. Because, and when I say valid and accounted for, that you pay taxes on every dime you received, either as gifts, right? Or you didn't know that, even if it's your boyfriend, either as gifts or, right? Because we all know that they're not married either as gifts 
or as wages, but you got to prove that you actually had a real position and not just a phantom shell position. Because the Fed see anything and everything, any and all, all shadow corporations and businesses that Diddy or whoever else might have set up to do these wire transfer and any shadow like, oh, I do, I do event planning corporations they have set up to receive it if there was no work actually done. Listen, everything they own, everything that's been paid, everything they took in, these anonymous wires from Germany and Italy, if these girls got any of this, right? Baby. I hope they do. That's all I'm saying. Until then, people are like, how are you going to prove? How are you going to prove? Well, they can use that tweet from JT or is JT going to come out and be like, I was joking. That is just gay slang. But you got that tweet from you got that tweet going on. But there's more that them of them going at it because Miami on her fence showed that she was hugged up on Diddy. And if she still is, then baby, no, y'all tried to tell me if this actually is current, which I am intended to believe if this actually is current, um, yeah, yeah, you really are trying to be calling herself the new Bobby or Whitney. You really are trying to be the just slain, just slain Maxwell to Diddy's epilator if he is convicted of being the epilator, baby. And they are still going at it. If you guys don't know about the tweets, right? Uh, JT said, if I'm ever mad, I have a reason to be behind closed doors. You've done stuff to me that you think I should just get over. You never come to my defense when I would have literally took a bullet for you. Uh, uh, when CP popped off, when quality, no, when CP popped off, I was there, blah, blah, blah. She said, Jatavia, we just got the phone. I'm so confused. Now we back on the internet. Let me tell y'all something. Young Miami can try to gaslight JT all she wants. And maybe JT's wrong. I really don't know between them arguing who or what is going on. I do know, and I'm going to read all the tweets in case y'all want to hear it. I do know that at the end of the day, um, Young Miami, you still with Daddy Diddy? You still supporting him? You still uh, talking about some Bonnie and Clyde? No, I'm sorry. Bobby and Whitney, even worse. Because you know what happened to Whitney, girl. So why would you ever want to be the Bobby and Whitney? You saw what happened to Whitney, and you saw what happened to Whitney's daughter. Why would you want to be the new Bobby and Whitney? Anyway, I guess she's like, thinks playing the dummy for Diddy is going to give her that top position. I don't know. Maybe she thinks there's still money around, girl. I guess. All money ain't good money. She said, for you to come. So anyway, this is what my Young Miami said to uh, JT. For you to come on here and try to play victim is crazy. Jatavia, you've been sneak dissing me for the last couple of days. I haven't said ish back to you. You made two whole songs dissing me and I and I wrapped your ish with my chest and showed love. So what? So what's the real problem here? So then she said, what song's about you? Young Miami said, no bars and sideways. Young Miami said, a bee trying to kick me while I'm down and play into these narratives is dangerous when I've been nothing but a friend to you. Baby, how are you down? And this is, I think, why, if this is JT, that leaked Young Miami's uh, Finsta account. How are you trying to say if somebody's playing you while you're trying to kick you while you down, when you down bad and go together real bad with Diddy, you haven't messed this man, left this man alone. Remember when I told y'all that Young Miami, Misa, Jay, all of them are rallying around Diddy. And Stevie J, I guess he just moved in. D Stevie J and Young Miami probably giving each other dirty looks all the time. He just moved in, basically, because he hasn't left Diddy's side. I guess he's the purple. Is he the groundskeeper? What's going on? She said, you let, the, so anyway, Young Miami said, you let the internet put in your head that I'm jealous of you. When you know I'm the one that always pushed us, you have resentment uh, towards, to, towards me too, and that's okay. She said, for you to come on here and try to play, wait, she said, uh, LOL, here we go, okay. I ain't jealous of a soul. I'm always like, go be go. I clap for everybody. I show love to everybody. I ain't a B I haven't shown love to. Is that true? Because there's a lot of people I've heard that say young Miami is very, very nasty in real life, but they could have just been hating. She said, a B been sneak dissing me for weeks and I ain't say ish. Uh, what a B mad, uh, mad at me for. So JT said, Glock loaded with extended clip. 
She said, girl, the internet told you what songs was about you, about you, saying it's City Girl-ish, even when it ain't City Girl-ish. That was released under City Girls or uh, or the one that say ride and solo, but I'm still in the group. Get your phone back from whoever it is. Baby, don't play with me. She said, and I, and she said, and I was for sure. And I was for sure. So somebody said, Miami is really going through something. You just responding to stranger that uh, uh, to strangers on Twitter. You're pathetic. Imagine somebody saying, what is Miami going through? I mean, it. what is she going through? Her sugar daddy down bad. What is she going through? Did she come out and say she was up? What is Miami actually going through? I want to know. Anyway. She said, and I was for sure there for her from the beginning, but y'all will see this in time that I'm not, never was, and never will be the problem. Have a nice day. JC said, I know I come off crazy, but never in my life did no whack ish, did no whack ish to this girl. She literally enjoys seeing me being dragged. When people show me love, she goes crazy and call it a hate train. But like I said, we can sit and talk about it. JD said, it'll be too much for me to tweet. I'll like, um, I'll like, uh, sit down, Carisha. And this time leave Santana home. You think Diddy, if the stories can be true, you think Diddy, uh, loved the fact that Miami and Santana came together? Just saying. So anyway, JT said, oh, you playing dumb now? This is your last day playing dumb. She said, what happens in the dark always comes to light. She said, and then she literally said, I better not be mentioned. Oh, so then Material Girl, that's also Santana, jumped in and said, sheesh, I thought she was talking about puffing those allegations like the rest of the world. Uh, who are you talking about? JT said, re-raid what I said in case you didn't comprehend the first time. Material Girl said, my agents call me every other day with an inquiry or a check for the dial. How much does Stan Twitter pay? Why do they keep clowning JT? that she has to rebuild her career and she's doing like little shows. Like have we lost sight? Cause at the end of the day, say what you want about JT. The fact that she is still like, I made it once and whatever happened, I fumbled that bag and guess what? I'm going to a new bag. How are you clowning someone for getting out and hustling and working? But yet everybody's standing up and, and cheering for people that was getting Birkins and on yachts from the freak off master. Is material possessions that important? And I'm not saying you got to be broke because don't nobody want to be broke, but you're going to do all that to be on a yacht and you clapping because young Miami literally is making her money off of being someone's girlfriend, but that's less admirable than JT who didn't want to bow down, you know, that didn't want to participate in any freak offs. It's just weird. He, my agents called me every day. How much does Stan Twitter pay? Anyway, there'll be a TV show to address things you're so heavily invested and interested in. And JT said, and I better not be mentioned once since I'm not in an episode. Nothing should be addressed without me. Who are you? You done gave yourself a position of power. You're not my power attorney. Sit your A down. So then... JT then said to Miami, you're really losing it. If you thought this, if you thought this, why not speak to me? You came on here and said that lol, so people can ask you why you wasn't defending me. Attention seeking as usual. Yo, she then went on to say, um, you looking for a way out of your situation. Her situation is she got bad press with Diddy. All this thing she was doing to carry those Birkins have now come to light. She said she was looking for a way out your situation. Who was the first person you called when it all started? You're a sad effing case. I don't think she's talking about the raids. I think she talked about in the beginning when she was sitting next to her talking about Go Poppy and all this other stuff. And don't forget when we started seeing Young Miami with Diddy, they had been talking for months before that. So JT really was there from the beginning. So anyway, Young Miami, uh, Carisha said, not you. Maybe they are still going at it, right? They are still going at it on Twitter. But I will say this, Carisha, Diddy is about to be indicted by a federal grand jury. Mark my words. And Carisha is busy, what, listening to Diddy, listen to his legal team, or maybe this is her best chance. I do find it odd that Carisha and Diddy, just debauchery, they literally... I, well, I have a, I'll go live and talk about this because when you think about it, even Carisha Roulette was them trying to make freak-offs mainstream. 
Think about it. Again, I get it. The botchery and all this Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, that's been happening since the beginning of times, but it always happened. Closed doors. And Carisha decided to link up with Diddy. And one way they debonded was bringing debauchery out in public. Y'all listen. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.